Hello, we're the Neon Night Stitchers. I'm Gail. I'm Mary. Thanks so much for joining us. Today you see a little new quilt behind us. This is made from the Buttercup and Slate line mm -hmm. by Cory Yoder Quilts for Moda Fabrics. It was made with a charm pack from my friend Dawn in Oregon. So thank you, Dawn. It's gorgeous. Thanks. Just a real simple little quilt with charm squares. It turned out it turned out so nice. It's just it's just really pretty. Yeah. Okay. I think you have some news for us, don't you? I do. I do. Today is Saturday, February 18th, 2023. Las Vegas hosts the most wedding weddings anywhere in the US each year and is known as the wedding capital of the world. There are weddings of all types in Las Vegas and the cost can be minimal. A marriage license can be obtained on the spot at the Clark County Marriage License Bureau or just for February at Terminal 1 in our airport. Once you have the license, you can get married the same day or and if you're not ready yet, the license is good for one year. There's no waiting and no blood test is required. So best of all, Elvis can marry you. <laughs> okay, we're saying that because this past week was Valentine's Day. Yes. And um, there's always, we think, an influx of um, weddings on that day. But um, anyway, thought we'd give you that update. We were surprised that they opened a terminal. In Terminal 1, they opened a, a like a area to, so you can get your um, license mm -hmm. easier. Yeah, it's been on the news a lot yeah, lately, yeah. publicizing <laughs> it. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm, coming I'm, in or going out. Yeah, well, yeah. Your wedding, your marriage <laughs> license. <laughs> you got a year, you can come back. Okay. On Valentine's Day, a very rare occurrence happened here in Las Vegas. We had snow. Yeah. There was, it was a very windy storm moving through that day, um, midday, and it was raining almost horizontally. And then some snow started mixing in. Pretty soon, parts of the valley had snowed, had just snow coming down. The temperature went, went from 51 down to 37 in about um, two hours. It was not cold enough for the snow to stick, um, which is actually a good thing because people aren't used to that kind of weather. <laughs> They don't drive too good. Mm -mm, no. They and, don't drive too good any time yeah, period, here. <laughs> period. So anyway, it was just kind of like, because you know, I left for work in the morning and it was, you know, normal temperature seemed like it's going to be a nice day. Came out at lunch. Gail actually came and got me that day for lunch. I was like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> and Jeez. I was texting her while I was <laughs> driving. Shh. I was at a stoplight <laughs> that was actually out because of the wind, the high winds. Uh, the stoplight was out, so it was going very slowly, and it was a very large intersection. And so I took some pictures of the snow coming down and sent them to Mary, and I'm like, it's snowing. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to look up and go, oh. <laughs> I didn't look out the window. And it got really dark. It yeah, was it got really dark. Strange. And so Mary did get to see some on our trip to and from lunch. She mm. got to see some snow. Got, got my snow for the year. <laughs> I think snow happens here, in my memory, like once every 12 years, 10 or 12 years. Anything that you see for snow, yeah, yeah, it's you're right. It's pretty rare. It, yeah, it's pretty rare. I think about, yeah, it's been a while. There were several years ago, I can't tell you when, it was before pandemic, um, we got snow. I mean, actually, it stuck for several hours, and we got quite a bit, and it melted away quickly. They called off school the next day. <laughs> yeah, that was an odd thing. Yeah, and there wasn't any snow in there. Anyway. <laughs> a lot of times, the outer parts of the valley, which are closer to the mountains, they mm -hmm. get snow. And this inner part of the city, which is where Mary and I were for lunch on uh, Tuesday, it doesn't get anything, maybe a little rain. So yeah. it's very rare for snow in the inner middle valley. Right. Very yeah. true. So very true. it was quite remarkable. Yeah. <laughs> it was uh, news for us that day. <laughs> it was big news in, in Las Vegas. Yes. <laughs> All right, Mary, we are going to show you our progress on our winter's piece um, stitch line. Put this up real quick. This is yep. a printout of the pattern. It is by... Tell me who's by. Our full offerings. Thank you. I lost my mind there for a minute. And you see we're down here in this corner doing the February portion, which right. is two houses and a tree trunk. Right. So we're there, and I'm loving it. This is what I got done. Just a little bit of the tree. <laughs> Your alphabet's done, so you're yeah. ready. You're getting started. Yeah. I focused on it a lot, so I finished. I got my... Well, I, last time I didn't have my alphabet done thought I had a little bit more than they did. I only got up to like the 
Q or the R, I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, but I finished that, and then I started on the houses. Huh. So, um, yeah. So you're doing good. It's, I'm excited now. So um, I'll get finish that up for February, and then Great. we'll get ready for March. And we'll get March. You know, Mary, as we've been doing this, I really like the way we're doing this. Me too. This is so much more comfortable than having this big project in our project bags and pressure for a week, a week, a mm-hmm. week. I, yeah. It's so manageable this way. Mm-hmm. We, you have a whole month to do a part and it's a pretty small part every month. Anyway, it's working really well for us. I hope it's working as well for you. Yes. Um, as always down in the notes, we'll have the information about posting your progress. Um, and we'll also have the information about the prizes for those people who are the first four people to finish and Mary and I don't count. So, <laughs> and we, yeah, we wouldn't win anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, no. what was I going to say? So the hashtags on Instagram are NNS winter's peace. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's, no, is that the only one we've got in and that, and then there's, um, and then sorry, the I lost nights. My mind. And Gail Griffin 3 and, and Neon Knights LV. Right. So, yeah. Because we couldn't figure out how for both of us could use one Neon Knights account on Instagram. Right. <laughs> it wasn't working. And I think some of that has to do with the fact that I am a PC person, so Android, and Mary's a uh, Apple person, so she has Mac and Apple phone, and I don't have all that. So Yeah, they don't like to talk. So Yeah, a lot of times it just doesn't work simply because we use different style devices and neither one of us are high tech anyway <laughs> no, no. we model for yeah okay so anyway hope you all can right. join us if you haven't right there's plenty of time oh, for my you goodness. to catch up plenty yeah. of time. we're doing this through november mm-hmm. and then we'll be awarding the prizes and we'll be done and we'll hopefully have them finished for christmas and let's give you a little more and more information we're both using um white chocolate 14 count ada is that right yes Okay, I was trying to remember. I know it's it both white chocolate. She's using called for colors, and I brightened them up a little bit, but the colors I'm using are down below in the notes. So you, if you want to look at them or compare them, you can. And Mary's colors are really pretty. Um, I definitely like her green for the letters uh, more than this kind of taupe color for the letters. Hold on, where are you? You were perfect. Oh, was that? okay. Yeah, look at the difference. I like hers better. They stand out more. So, so anyway, your choice. Uh, yeah, maybe you'll come up with a whole other color combination. You don't have to Absolutely. do the blues. Absolutely, don't yeah. have to do that. Yeah. Okay. So do you have any uh, jackpots, N- fully finished items? Or winnings, no winnings. I do not have any winnings. You do. Oh, Those are sorry. fully finished. Yes. Fully right? finished, yes. All right, so Valentine Cupid is the first one. Mary did this one last year. And I think you finished it on a board like this, too. No, right? I finished it on a little block that ah. the Michaels, those little blocks that um, we found at Michaels. You found them, of okay. course. Um, but they were also used on several of the projects by Stitching with the Housewives, so you might be familiar Got with it. them. Yeah. So this is like a little chalkboard thing. It was from Hobby Lobby, and it was in the party section. So I just added a little bit of fabric, and this is white opalescence, 14 count. You can see the sparkle in person. It's yeah. very cute. And the thread is Weeks Dye Works um, Louisiana Hot Sauce, one of my favorite reds from Weeks Dye Works. You, you're, everything I show you today is going to be variegated flosses. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. You're variegated. (laughs) (laughs) Very, very, I don't know why. Anyway, um, in the notes, we'll have who this is by. It's by Crosette Endo. That's the best I can do pronouncing it. She has some, he, she has some really cute patterns. So if you can find this one, it's called Valentine Cupid. And And we have a link to it in the notes. mm -hmm. Check out our other patterns. She does have some cute ones. Um. This one is called Red Heart Sampler, and it's a free pattern from Melissa at Pinker and Pumpkin. But I did mine in purple variegated colors. <laughs> okay, so these are Weeks Dye Works colors, and it's eggplant, plum, and taffeta. And they were from a floss frenzy package last year that I got from the Fat Quarter Shop. I really just, pretty. What fabric was that, do? Um, this is 
country mocha. Okay. It looks good with those colors, and it looks, yeah. they all stand out real, really well. And this is a, just an inexpensive little frame I got from Marshalls, I believe. Okay. Nice. Yeah. It's really pretty. Looks good with the fabric. Now, I did show you Be My Valentine in our last, last Floss Tip episode, but as it was sitting in my house, I decided it was a little plain and needed something to <laughs> jazz it up a little bit. So I got some um, trim from, chenille trim from uh, Stitcher's Paradise here in Las Vegas. And this also was a free pattern. Let me, this was from the Nebby Needle. And you can uh, find that information in our notes below. This was also 14 count, but it was heroic from Picture This Plus Fabrics. So that just made it a little bit more interesting. It looked kind of pale and washed out. So I decided to do that. It looks great. Love it. Finishes. Mary has some really exciting finishes. Robin, take note. <laughs> Robin, I was thinking about you. <laughs> so, from many Foss tubes, I was saying that I was doing Home is Where the Wreath is. Good Lord, Robin, when did I start this? I don't remember <laughs> when it came out, pretty much. Yeah. So, anyway, I finished the H, the it was M. Before I retired, Mary, because we were working on it <laughs> That's during right. lunch with me. <laughs> That's right. It's been a while. Okay. <laughs> H, M, E is done. So, let me show you. Here's E. Yay! Yay! He's finally done. <laughs> M. Yay. Okay. So, as a fully, fin fully finished or jackpot, I went ahead and finished the H the way I want it on the board. And I'm following um, Stitching with the Housewives, pretty much anything, everything they've done. I got the board they're used, they used. They, um, it's in the unfinished section of Hobby Lobby, and I believe they still have some. And then I just followed this. So this is on, I used the Call for Color 3865 from DMC. It's just an off, a little bit of white, off-white. Black 14 count Ada. And this is um, Priscilla's plaids, black and white. And I just kind of followed what they did. And I went ahead. I was getting excited. So I had to start. I'm jumping into my whips now just because this follows That's along okay. here. okay. It's all a story. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a story. I don't know what I just did with it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hold on two seconds. It's really cute when she finds it. When I find it. Did I put it back in the bag? I did. Oh, she did. That's okay. Not so. You don't have to listen to a zipper because she didn't zip it, fortunately. That's right. So I started this. So I went to wreath swap one, which is this pattern. And in this pattern, there's six months of um, designs for your O. Put the finger right where the O is. So, and they've listed them by month. So January, February, March through June. Okay. And I went to... March. Mm, I can't just show you the flash pattern. Flash it real quick. Flash. <laughs> okay, so I just got it started. It's tulips with these other little, I guess like tulips. Really ones. cute. So I just have the top of the O started. It wasn't that, um, didn't take that long to do this. So hopefully by next time I'll have an O done and ready to present all of them. I have to order more sticky board and um, get that the other ones done. But anyway, yay. So Robin. Fantastic. We're on, we're, there's hope. We can get this done. <laughs> <laughs> so, yay. Okay. Thank you. What else? All right. I go. have uh, one item that the stitching is finished on, and this is called Snowbirds. Whoops. Whoops. It's Snowbirds. It's free with the Whippet pattern by stitching up from, stitching with the housewives. I see that little lint there. So he's all done. I've got a button that's going to go right there to kind of jazz it up a little. Uh, the pattern's a little different. It has the word home in it with another cardinal on it, but I didn't want that. I just wanted the snowman and some uh, snowflakes. So this is ready to be finished, and I even have the backing for it cut out, and I'm going to make it into a little pillow. Oh, cute. Yeah. Cute, cute. Uh, that's all I have for finishes, so I think it's time for works in progress. Well, I showed you mine. And that's really all I have. That's why I kind of stuck on this oh, okay. this time because I really wanted to finish the E and I wanted to work on my um, Sal. Fair enough. 
I have been working on this in between other projects. Um, this is Holiday Hallmarks, and this is the Halloween one by the Fat Quarter mm -hmm. Shop. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, but I didn't hear my fabric or anything. I hope you pull it out. Uh, in fact, I forgot. All right, since last time, I have done candy corn, and I'm working on jack-o'-lantern. I love it. So this is going to be done before you know it. There's not that much left to do. And the fabric is really cool. Whatever, Yeah, you did some antiques kind of. Antique spray, yeah. I dipped it in antique with water, and then I splattered some of it on here. And I might splatter more at yeah, the end. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's coming along very nicely. I love working on this. I can see the fabric. I can see the holes. I can see the thread. <laughs> <laughs> this poor little snowman, the only time I could work on it was when the sun was out and shining in my living room. Um, because that's the only time I can see the white paper below it and see the holes. So anyway, I was very pleased to get this done. No more of that fabric for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it for my whips, too. Okay. Okay. I don't know what we did these three weeks, but we were busy. Ah. Oh, wait. Yes. We can show this. Yes. Oh, we have two things to show. That's that true. To show this we to do. Show. Okay. Hold on. We're getting organized. All right. So Mary and I like to participate in the um, service projects at one of our local quilt stores. So, yeah. And they moved to Rainbow Boulevard, which is much closer for me, not quite as much for Mary. It's still good. So this year they're doing uh, teddy bears and dolls for children. And this is called Dolls of Hope. They have a doll pattern or a teddy bear pattern. And this is the little teddy bear I made from the first batch. It's a minky. It's, yeah, it's minky. It's very soft. It's textured. It has thick curls of fur, though, so it was kind of hard to cut through as I was cutting it out. And then you embroider the eyes on it, the nose, and the little mouth. It's so cute. And uh, so it ends up pretty darn cute. I want to hope. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to make um, some more. Yes, we're going to make some more. Monday, uh, Mary has off work. It's mm -hmm. a holiday. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to come over here, have some lunch, and stitch some more bears. Yay. We're going to have fun. Okay, let's show this little thing. Yes, talk about that. Okay, we went to the... Road to California. Thank you. I was going to trip around the world. That's not it. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's a quilt. we haven't gotten them back from the quilt No, yet. they're still at the quilt trip. Okay. But when we were at Road to California, we found this little pin cushion. I'm going to find my little stick and use my finger to cover it up. Uh, mine's not, not really as round as it should be. <laughs> <laughs> she says that it's fine. It's fine. So this is all wool. And, yes. it's, and so you um, cut these out. We bought the kits. Mm -hmm. You cut it out, cut out the patterns. This is a big covered button. And there's another covered button on the back just to hold it together. Um, and then we did some embroidery stitches here. First, we sewed these on. Um, this, we just did running stitches in the same color. Then we put the veins or whatever you want to call those through the flower. And then you stuff it with walnut shells. Well, for, Which was you, included in the kit. That yeah, was it was. Fabulous. Yeah. That was really So then, great. there's my mistake. And I then, love it. yeah, it's heavy. I was telling Gail, we got weapons. <laughs> <laughs> and when it comes in our sewing room when we're working. Yeah. Watch out. <laughs> These were from uh, the company called Local Farm Girl. Thanks. And you can find her at localfarmgirl.com mm -hmm. in case you're interested in any of these pin cushions. She had some smaller ones, too. We ended yeah. up going for the big ones. <laughs> we, we like those big ones. So they, they can be purchased as a kit or she sells um, the wool. Uh, uh -huh. they, she sells packets of coordinating wool if you prefer to choose your own colors that way. But there's lots of different yeah. uh, variations of this, so you can choose any you want. Mm-hmm. But mm -hmm. localfarmgirl.com. It was fun to make. It was a lot of fun. Yes, we sat there and did our stitching together, sewing this, sewing all that. Yep, 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 yep. That's good. Okay, let's see. What else? So those kind of two other projects we've worked on a little bit. Well, Gail has more than I have. Um, okay, Stash Enhancement. I think we're ready to move on. Yay. What you got? We don't have a lot of stash and ham enhancement. Now, I know you're gasping out there <laughs> because normally we have a list this long in the Excel spreadsheet that we put in the description. For being good. But we don't have that much. We're waiting for Mark. <laughs> yeah. I have a list. I started a list. <laughs> 
when Mary saw the new tiny town that's coming out. That's really number one on my list. Yeah, I think it's called a honey of a yeah. town. Hun- so, something like that. I yeah. Sorry, I don't know the name. I just saw it and said that's it. Yeah. So we reached out a list of things we're interested in, and we'll see how far the budget stretches. Right. So I was at Stitcher's Paradise a couple weeks ago during my stitching day, Mm -hmm. my stitching Tuesday morning um, with Sue, and I found these trilogy patterns. So cute. So this is Bucky the Snowman, and he is uh, juggling snowballs, and you can get the the little button pack with it and then we have snow bro joe (laughs) he's ready to throw a snowball at you all right don't get too close (laughs) mama betty has been baking up a tray of snowballs you can see her cute little red apron and aunt ethel is going shopping with her little bird friends and the birds are little tiny buttons i mean little tiny buttons oops i can't show the pattern little tiny buttons but we'll be making some of these and uh, having a little fun with these so cute i had never seen these before no they're a little bit older patterns but they are just so cute interestingly enough cecilia turner was one of the designers on this in 2008 and Cecilia Turner is with Heart and Hand, I believe. Oh, okay. That's right. Yeah. I was, that's familiar. It sounds familiar, but I didn't remember. Good. I think those are cute. And just in case I'm wrong, I always get Heart and Hand and... Hands on Design? Hands on Design confused. So anyway, these are a little bit older, but adorable. And some of you still have quite a bit of snow, even though ours is all gone. It's just a memory at this point. <laughs> So, we are mid-February. Today's the 18th. We're mid-February. Yeah. There is a chance of, we always have a day or two in February that really kind of does this. It gets blustery kind of, um, but then it it's over. But anyway, there's still a chance we could get another burst of cold, wind, yes. cold weather, and then it'll start to um, start warming up, basically. We're hoping that's <laughs> for slow. Yeah, <laughs> for summer. It will go, but we're hoping that's going to be a slow process yeah. because... Um, The weather forecast actually shows that um, we're going to have a few days in the 60s, then we're going to hit 70, I think, on Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, somewhere in there. Yeah, I didn't know we were going that high, okay. Then we're going down to 49, so we're getting something else coming through. Yeah, that's a drop, that's a change for us, and it's cool. (laughs) We're wimps. We are, we admit it. (laughs) When you consistently go through a couple months over 100 degree temperatures, and up to 115. You become a wimp about the cold weather. Yeah, we do. We we do. Okay. What you got? My new? sash enhancement. I am in the club for big, big city Christmas. That when the patterns come out, um, I get. I am on, on the automatic, you know, list. List. Thank you. Is that through Fat Quarter Shop? Yes, it's through oh, Fat okay. Quarter Shop. All right. And so the first one that came out, I think I've showed this before, but I can't remember, so I'm showing you. The first one that came out is. Um, department store hope you can see that i started it but i haven't gotten any farther i haven't gotten very far this is going to be another focus of mine then the next one that came out was theater big city christmas theater these are by country cottage needleworks if i didn't say that and i'm sorry i'm trying not to shake but i'm shaking and then this is the last one i just received toy store it's so cute it's really cute it's got the little looks like a little nutcracker there something soldier Anyway, they're fun. So something I want to work on. Very cute. And then I picked up this pattern when I saw um, Michelle at Stitcher's Paradise ordered it for me. And she said she had made it a while back. I'm not exactly sure when she made it. But I saw it and thought, okay, got to have it. It says cookies. (laughs) (laughs) It's called Sugar Cookies. I'm going to pull back. And it's by the Cricut Collection. It's very cute. (laughs) Okay. I love cookies. So you see all the little Christmas cookie designs. So, <laughs> is that for this Christmas? I don't know. Oh, okay. You know, I'm getting kind of my list of everything to do is so long. <laughs> I'm sure, like everybody else's. So it's like, how do you get all this done? You retire. You retire. Okay. And even then, you don't get it all. Done. <laughs> Did you, you find other things you want to do? Exactly. Too. Something else pops up, and you just keep going. Yeah. And that's that's what makes it that's all fun. The fun of it. Yeah. Is having... That, 
the opportunity to uh, choose. Pick and choose and do. put aside, work on it, come back to it. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. All right. Let's see. We have a couple of free designs to uh -huh. show you. Oh, I had one more thing I wanted to talk about because I messed oh. it up last time. And I have to look at my notes so I don't mess it up again. <laughs> All right. This is the Lunar Rabbit pattern mm -hmm. by Tastier Stitches on YouTube. And I'm going to stitch that real soon. I'm just showing you real quick because it's the actual pattern. Um, so I didn't have her name. It's T-A-R-S-I-E-R -S -S -E Stitches on YouTube. And she has a full floss tube channel, lots of cute things. And we'll, in the notes, have a link to this particular floss tube with that bear. That's not a free pattern. It's one I paid for, but I really liked it. And so I'll be stitching it very soon because we're getting into spring stitching. It's time. Yeah. my I'm kind of over my Valentine and winter stitching for now. We did pretty good, though. Yeah. So one other free pattern. One free pattern, and Mary's going to show you another one. This is called Stitch What You Love. Got a house. Got a big flower. I think it's tulips and then a sunflower and, you know, a nice heart there. That's a real cute heart. I like that. So this is by Jen Dewey. And again, we'll have a link for you to follow in the notes below. Very cute. cute. And then I just grabbed this one when I was going through a few things. This is Easter Peeps by Helen D. And this is, I'm just showing you the printout. It's free on her website. We're linking that below. Mm -hmm. Hope you can see it. Um, jelly beans, all that good, all the Easter words. Really cute. So I'm trying to get that done very quickly. It'll be easy. It's mostly words. It's not very big. And it'll be a lot of fun. And I think we're both going to start that one. Okay. We can start that one. So Mary, did you pick a winner from last time? I did, I did, I did. Okay, last time our question. That's, okay, here's the question. Will win. I love this. I love that. Sleep tight. Yes. It's too cute. By heart and hand. Okay. Things. Our question last time was, what's your favorite spring flower? And we had different ones, um, of course, you know, marked off some of them, or I should say listed some of them. They had hyacinth, daffodils, pennies, how do you say that? Peonies. Peonies and hyacinth, um, which are all beautiful flowers. Daffodils are my absolute number one favorite. I always they're like them. So they cheerful. The cheerful. And they're like yeah. the first ones I see, it seems like. And so they're just like... Yay! <laughs> I have to say I love dogwood though because I'm from Missouri and that's our flower and uh, state tree. And I just like them all. I just like flowers, so I don't really, I can't say I have one um, favorite over another. So anyway, let me hope. I hope I don't mess up your name. Dina Dragger six zero four three. It's D E N A D R A G E R six zero four three. Congratulations! You won our pattern. Not our pattern, but the giveaway. The pattern. The pattern. <laughs> um, please um, give us your name and address. Send us an email to neonnightstitchers at gmail.com. The link, or not the link, but the address is, is below in the notes. Uh -huh. So you can check that out, and we will get that out to you. Yeah. And we appreciate everybody commenting and joining in. It's always fun. So thank you. So fun to read the comments. Yeah. Have you look lately? We're almost, almost to 500 subscribers. Yes, I saw that. Getting excited. Now, we're not sure why well, you're not at 3,000, but we'll be happy with 500. <laughs> we're getting there. So, okay. I think we're set. All right. Anything? So, we have a pattern to That's give right. away this time. Jump the gun. And this is a real cute little spring pattern with a bird and a birdhouse and some leafy vines. I think it's really cute. Yeah. So, again, it's from the trilogy. And what's the question? Our question for the next time is... Um, how many, or have you seen any of the new market releases that have come out? And if so, do you have a favorite? Or, and if honestly, by the time we um, record next time, just tell us what your favorite is mm -hmm. because it'll be past market. So, um, anyway, we're yeah. excited and we're anxious to see all the new ones. I don't know if you all have seen, but um, there are some new variegated flosses coming out by the bigger tag. The cream color bigger tag. I can never remember. Uh, I'm thinking weekly dye work. Weekly dye works, but it's not. It's, it's not it's country. No. Country something. Yeah. Anyway, you Don't probably know. know. Yeah. There are like four or five 
maybe six new oh, variegated cool. colors. I want them all. I, I want say, them all. They're variegated. <laughs> I'm a little concerned, though. There's mm-hmm. only three yards on each one. Oh. oh. It's not very well, much. Well, things are going up. I know, but couldn't they give us a little more for them? Anyway, <laughs> they're beautiful colors. Um, one of them, Priscilla Blaine, mm-hmm. um, asked for and designed. And let's see, some other known designers oh that's fun yeah some other well-known designers got to request a a color and they um have classic, it coming out classic uh, color works thank you classic, classic color like, works oh. thank you mary <laughs> not country anything no i was trying to go there so i'm real excited about those and i can't wait to see those come out and how much we get in our local store <laughs> so i can buy them i know i know we're kind of planning a day after, probably, if, what, a couple of weeks after market, we're going to hit Stitcher's Paradise. We'll be there a while. So, Michelle, we're coming. <laughs> <laughs> and I have some gift certificates to you. Oh, so, boy. Yay. So, yes, let us know what your favorites are from the new market releases. And I think that's all we have for I you today. I think that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.